So this is going to be a quick tip on just on how to link dashboard slicers to on multiple tables, charts, and graphs in Excel. Very often when you're doing uh, a bunch of things on one screen, you're bringing in more than one table or chart. But when you put slicers onto it, they often aren't connected. So this is just a quick reminder for those as to how you do that. This is in uh, Excel 2010 or 2013. It's kind of the same process. Screens might be a tad different, but logic is the same. I'm going to do two examples. One just kind of doing it the old school way, which is, you know, using regular Excel, creating individual pivot tables, then copying the graphs, charts into a single page. And also going to just do it using the power pivot feature because, it's, again, you can create multiple charts automatically. But uh, the end result is the same. And, of course, it all starts with a pivot chart or table or whatever. Um, so I just grab some data from a data source, something to do with environmental monitoring. Again, insert pivot table. So we're going to create a pivot table. I'm just going to do this very quickly. Um, I don't know. Issue two, who was issue two? That's probably a bad one because there's way too many things there. Okay, there's a better um, explanation. Anyways, there's a bunch of data. Now I can insert a chart into this doesn't really matter what it looks like, but there it is. And now I want to move this onto my dashboard. So I've already got a dashboard going over here. And I want, you know, obviously I want everything on one place, all these charts. Plus I want just one set of slicers that works on all of them. The problem you'll find that, uh, as I've done here, is I've got, so I started one, and of course everything works just fine. Then I added this second slicer to that chart. And again, everything works fine. But they're not working together in harmony. That's the trick. So I go back to my uh, the one we just built. I want to move this over to the dashboard as well. Various ways you can do that. I'm not sure uh, which ones are in 2010 or 13. But uh, anyways, move it over there. So now it's over here. Same problem, though. This one is disconnected. It's not connected to any of them. OK, the magic is, of course, that a slicer is generated based on one chart. So in other words, you have to pick a chart in order to create a slicer. If you try to create a slicer here, of course, you get that message that I get to see many, many thousands of times because I missed it. You have to be in it. But each slicer is connected to one chart. At the end, you simply need to connect them all. And as you add charts under Report Connections, you'll notice it says it now senses that there are actually three products on this table, and you're only connected to one. So. I think you can probably figure out what you need to do here, which is to connect it to all of them, or whichever ones you want. I can't imagine why you wouldn't connect it to all of them. So just make sure you connect it to all of them. And once you've done that, if everything's working properly, yes, you'll now see the information is now covered in all. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you've got multiple charts on a dashboard and the slicers don't seem to be uh, impacting on all of, all of them, first thing to check, of course, is the make sure they're all actually properly wired together. It's almost like building a set of electronics. I mean, all, have you connected all the wires? So check the wiring and see if that's the problem. Maybe something else, but very often that's the problem. Now, the only reason I talked about the Power Pivot Avenue is that, of course, under Power Pivot, which is kind of nice, and there is that option under here, which is just a, a you know convenience feature that instead of saying, well, I have to, I want to create a dashboard with four charts, so I'm going to create four pages on my own and then move each chart. Um, Power Pivot will actually do that for you. So, but again, each one of these charts is separate. I mean, it's just a convenience. Everyone, the slicers that you build will build built only on one of them, and then you'll just have to connect them. So I'm not going to go through the mechanics there, but the logic is the same. So all you really need to do is make sure that when you've got your um, slicers in there on multiple sources, just report on the connections. So right-click on a slicer and just check the field. Make sure they're all included. And in some cases, that can be a lot if you have a very crowded dashboard. So hope that helps. Uh, I know it's caused me a couple of grief when I'm slamming something out real fast, forget to check those final connections.